antiplatelet and thrombolytic drugs. So, this antiplatelet means antiplatelet aggregatory group of drugs. Platelet aggregation is the major problem in all cardiovascular problems and because of that thrombotic condition especially in the arteries occurs. So, the aggregation of antiplatelets is prevented by antiplatelet aggregatory drugs. So, in today's topic, we are going to see about antiplatelet aggregatory drugs. That means the drugs which prevents the aggregation of platelets and thrombolytic drugs. Already the thrombi has formed. So, the drugs which are useful in lysis of this thrombi. That means the drugs which are useful in prevention of thrombi and if thrombi is formed, how to lysis the thrombi. So, these two are the group of the drugs what we are going to see in today's uh, PowerPoint. Okay. So, in this uh, presentation, we will be explaining about the mechanism of action, uses and adverse effects of thrombolytic drugs and about antiplatelet drugs and different groups of drugs that is P2Y2 receptor antagonists as well as GP2B3A inhibitors. These group of drugs which are mainly used as antiplatelet aggregatory drugs. So, about these drugs we are going to see in this PowerPoint. So, coming to platelets, the general thing about platelets, the lifespan of platelets is about 7 to 10 days and produced by bone marrow and uh, this process is regulated by thrombopoietin, a hormone. The old platelets are destroyed by the spleen and by copper cells of the liver. In today's PowerPoint, we are going to see about antiplatelet drugs. So, these drugs, what they will do? It affects the aggression of the platelet. That means attachment of platelets. If the platelet starts attaching with each other, it forms a thrombi. It forms a clot. The major problem for the cardiovascular diseases, MI, stroke, embolism, for all other conditions. So, the drugs which prevents the aggression of platelets, aggregation of platelets. So, that these groups of drugs can be used for prophylaxis of thromboembolic disorders and for arterial thrombosis. So, these are the drugs what we are going to see. Anticoagulants are the another group of drugs which are mainly used in venous thrombosis. If a thrombi clot is in vein, vein means that, that may be mainly due to fibrin. So, for treating that, uh, for preventing that, we will be giving anticoagulants and for treating, we will be giving fibrinolytic drugs. So, if it is in the artery, for preventing, we will be giving this antiplatelet aggregatory group of drugs. So, coming to the drugs, classification of this antiplatelet drugs, the first group are ADP antagonists, adenosine diphosphate antagonists and uh, under that, ticlopidine, clopidrogel and prasugel are the three drugs which are commonly used in therapeutics. The second one is COX inhibitor. Under that, aspirin, ecosprin, jasprin, like uh, these drugs we are using commonly. And the third group is phosphodiesterase inhibitors, dipyridamol. And fourth one is GP2B3A inhibitors. So, abciximab and terofiban are the drugs commonly available uh, in therapeutics. So, these are the four groups of drugs which we are going to study under antiplatelet aggregatory drugs. So, mechanism of platelet aggregation. How these drugs affects the platelet aggregation and why platelet aggregation occurs? Consider these are the two platelets. So, by aggregation, by coming together, by adhesion, by attaching these platelets like this, it forms a clot, it forms a thrombi. So, how it is prevented? The first one is thrombexin A2. Thrombexin A2 is a substance which is important for the aggregation of platelets. So, this thrombexin A2 is inhibited by this aspirin. Aspirin is a drug which comes under NSAID by inhibiting this enzyme cyclooxygenase. The production of thrombexin A2 is inhibited. So, thrombexin A2 as well as this ADP are the two important things which attracts the nearby platelets and it produces platelet aggregation. So, first two group of drugs, COX inhibitors acts on the thrombexin A2, inhibits the attachment with another platelet. The second group of drugs are ADP antagonists. So, ADP is responsible, adenosine diphosphate is responsible for that question. So, by blocking this or by antagonizing this, we are giving 
we are preventing the attachment with the another platelets. So, clopidogrel tricyclopidin, you can see by blocking this, we can prevent the attachment with the other receptor. And the third one is GP2A 3B inhibitors. So, this is the one which releases the fibrinogen which has got attraction or affinity towards the next platelet, the nearby platelet. So, that the adhesion can take place by giving these group of drugs, abseximab group of drugs. So, by giving this, by blocking this GP2B 3AB antagonist, by blocking this receptor, we are preventing the attachment with the another platelet. So, these are the third group of drugs what we are going to see. And the fourth one is phosphodiesterase inhibitors. So, formation of cyclic AMP to 5 AMP is done by the enzyme called phosphodiesterase. The phosphodiesterase is inhibited by giving this dipyridamol so that the adhesion process is prevented. So, these are the four important methods how this antiplatelet aggregatory drugs works.